Hi. We shall now see how a control area network in short called CAN is used in automobiles like cars and industries also. As the name implies control area network meaning that controllers that is microcontrollers are connected in network like we have computers connected in network. Obviously the computers connected in network are used for exchanging data or information amongst themselves. Similarly these microcontrollers connected in a network fashion will exchange information between themselves. Today it is very largely used in cars. More than 30 microcontrollers are used in cars for exchanging information between themselves. We will see at the later part how the application is on this front in the car. Now let's go over to this particular project where we find one microcontroller is interfaced to a keypad here. The other microcontroller is interfaced to a LCD display. This LCD display is a 16 character two lines LCD display. We call it 16 cross 2 display. This is called a matrix keypad where it is 3 into 4 matrix keypad which is connected to some of its I.O. ports. Here the display is connected to some of the I.O. ports and in this microcontroller we have some work to be done which is interfaced to a transistor <coughs> sorry and then a relay and a supply where we have we'll see that how a lamp is glowing just for a simple experiment. So this three microcontrollers that we find but they are networked or they are in uh, by a pair of wire only. And this is a pair of wire by which they are interconnected. If we look at the pin connections, they are actually RX pin, that means receiving pin, and TX pin, that means the transmitting pin. That means all the microcontrollers, these three microcontrollers are tied together by Rx and Tx pins. So all the information exchange taken by these three are over these Rx and Tx pair of wires. Rx receives the information through Rx the controller receives the information through Tx the controller sends the information. This is how they exchange information amongst themselves. <coughs> now let's see we power the circuit and see how it really works. In this particular circuit, as we have seen that we have a keypad and keypad is the input. This is the display and this is the work to be done. So when I power this, we find that the display immediately indicates that it is waiting for some information. Let me see this in a more zoomed manner. This is waiting for some information. This is a 6 plus 2 LCD display. The data pins are connected accordingly. There are some read write enable pins and supply pins which are connected appropriate way. And matrix keypad, as we know, if we can see this, it is connected to one of the I.O. ports and in a particular phase. This is called matrix keypad. And here, this load which is connected is through a transistor and connected to a relay and the relay obviously we know that it has a switch which is called NONC switch. Now if this is the supply, AC supply, you can see this supply is not closed because the circuit is not closed here. So the lamp is not glowing. So when we go into the further program for this, what we do, we write three programs. One program for this which is to interface the keypad one program for this to interface the LCD display and one program for this to interface the outside world for some work. And those programs are written either in C language, we call C, or in assembly mm -hmm. language and ultimately they are compiled or assembled to form the 
मेसिन कोड मेसिन को मेसिन लैंग्वेज और हेक्स कोड हेक्स कोड इज लोडेड ऑन टू दीज मसलर्स एंड दैट इज हाउ दे वर्क वंस वी सिमुलेट होल थिंग इन सच काइंड ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर पर्टिकुलरली दिस काइंड ऑफ सॉफ्ट सपोर्ट्स माइक्रो कंट्रोलर देर आर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सिमुलेशन सॉफ्टवेयर विच डू नॉट सपोर्ट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर बट दिस पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर बट वी सर बी टीचिंग इज हैविंग प्रोविजन फॉर टेकिंग माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स एंड लोडिंग द हेक्स फाइल ऑन देम सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी लोडेड द हेक्स फाइल्स ऑन देम रेस्पेक्टिव हेक्स फाइल्स दैट इज की पैड हेक्स फाइल ऑन दिस डिस्प्ले हेक्स फाइल ऑन दिस एंड द वर्क लोड हेक्स फाइल ऑन दिस सो वेन वी आर वर्क इन पुटिंग सम डेटा लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई पुट वन सो आई फाइंड द डिस्प्ले गिव्स मी वन नाउ I press two. The display gives me two. I press three. The display gives me three. When I press four. It is so programmed that this microcontroller would get that information from this through this bus. That once it receives one, two, three, four. the work will be done that means this relay this output will come here the transistor transistor is on the relay will be on the relay will be on this switch will change to this side and this lamp will be on so let's see that so when i put 4 you find this point i changed and the lamp is glowing right so this is how the input was done here the display came here the work done is by this microcontroller or when i press 5 6 7 8 the lamp is off we can see the lamp is off now so what we wanted to highlight here is that the input display and action are taking place at several places and but they still have a coordination amongst all of them in a real world like in a car this keypad could be an interface from some temperature sensor speed sensor or some pressure or some backlight or some wiper anywhere the sensor will send some energy that will be displayed here if it is required at the dashboard so this microcontroller which is only handling the inform display information will be displaying whatever information is required to be displayed and this microcontroller will be required to do or work that is assigned to it like for example here we have pressed 1 2 3 4 and we find the work was carried out by this lamp glowing similarly if it suppose a temperature input comes here that the temperature is going high the display will be here that the temperature is high and the this microcontroller we switch on a fan or a blower to cool the area which is getting heated up this is just a small example of use three microcontrollers and having an operation like this but in real world as i said in cars there are 30 microcontrollers used in such network fashion and in a motorcycle even today there are about more than 10 such microcontrollers used for handling such errands mm. the application is not restricted only to automobiles but in industries as well like for example if these controllers are located at kilometers apart you have to just run a pair of wire for exchanging information between themselves in true sense scan is actually a master slave combination but here we have used in a fashion in such a fashion in a limited wiring fashion our purpose so this is what in short is called control area network and ieee 2006 paper mm. which is ideally suitable for students in the communication or ece for doing their most advanced project thank you